Our current model of the atom is the result of many discoveries by scientists over the years. Starting with the simplest idea that an atom is spherical, scientists then carried out experiments that refined the way we think about atoms and the smaller particles that constitute an atom until they arrived at our current model. It wasn't until 1803 that John Dalton gave us the first atomic theory, with atoms represented by solid spheres. In 1904, J.J. Thomson discovered that atoms contain negatively charged particles called electrons. But because the overall charge of the atom was neutral, he proposed the plum pudding model, describing the atom as a positive sphere with electrons floating inside it, like pieces of fruit in a pudding. In 1911, Ernest Rutherford discovered that all the atom's mass and positive charge were in fact concentrated in the center of the atom, in a region he called the nucleus. The area around the nucleus consisted of mostly empty space except for the freely orbiting electrons. The evolution of these discoveries led in 1911 to the development of the nuclear model of the atom, in which a positively charged center was surrounded by randomly arranged electrons. Two years later, in 1913, Niels Bohr proposed that electron orbits were fixed, like planets orbiting the Sun. This idea of stable electron orbits gave rise to the Bohr model. In 1919, Rutherford discovered the particle responsible for the positive charge in each nucleus, naming it the proton. As scientists explored further, they noticed that electrons appeared to behave as both particles and waves, and that the precise location of an electron cannot be known. We can only point to a defined space where there's a high probability of finding it, called the electron's orbital. This understanding and the development of the Schrödinger wave equation in 1926 gave rise to the quantum mechanical model and the concept of the electron cloud. To complete the picture as we understand it today, James Chadwick in 1932 discovered neutrons, neutral particles located in the nucleus which accounted for the rest of the atom's mass. These models represent our deepening understanding of the atom over the last 200 years. In the following videos, we'll explore in more detail how these models developed, as scientists asked questions and ran experiments to better understand the structure of the atom.